Hey y'all, hey, coming to y'all with a message per huge. And so I wanted to talk about Matthew. So I, the thing I love most about this reading in Matthew is this is the reading that kind of, it was a, along with the versions with the 10 lamps, but I talked about that before, right when I finished my Daniel fast on here. So I'm going to focus on this part of the same chapter where Jesus talked about those that he gave talents to, the men with the talents. And it starts at chapter six, um, chapter 25, verse 16, and it reads, then he who have received the five talents went and traded with them and made another five talents. And likewise, he who had received two also gained two more. But he who had received one dug it in the ground and hid his Lord's money. Now, the reason why I'm going to pause here is because if you really think about it, let's take this parable and make it relatable to life. When God gives you a God-given talent, whether it be to sing, whether it be to preach, whether it be to minister in an inspirational way to people, whether it be to motivate people, whether it be to knit, whatever it is that your niche is, think about how you are a steward over that niche, right? And think about how you handle it. Are you doing your due diligence by pouring into it so that it can be multiplied by God or are you allowing it to stay stagnant? If you don't know how to answer that question, my loves, you probably on the lesser of the two. You're allowing your gifts to be stagnated. The reason why I wanted to focus on this part of the scripture is because God gave me a responsibility today to tell his vessels. If you have something that God blessed you with deep down on the inside of you, no matter how minute you think it might be, God blesses us with talents to be blessings to other people. To multiply them means to make sure that we're pouring them out, sowing them out into the universe so that someone can edify and be inspired to do it for themselves and it can be a circle of life or for someone to see it and be able to edify what it is that you're doing and they be blessed by what it is that you're doing and it might just change the course or trajectory of their lives my loves your duty in this life per Matthew 25 reads you need to learn that God is not going to reward you when he blesses you with a gift that you allow to remain dormant thank you Holy Spirit you have to understand you are marvelously and wonderfully made in God's eyes. And that is up to you to identify the heaviness of this talent that you were blessed with. And it is also your responsibility to identify the responsibility that he or places upon the expectation that he has for you to fulfill that. My loves, take heed to this message because it's a very good one and it is the message that just might change your life. If you really pour yourself into submitting completely to Jesus Christ and start fulfilling the promises and the works that he's tasked you with, watch how easy your life becomes. I read something in a book earlier that said, when you decide to follow Christ, that means you submit your child, yourself, your worldly possessions, all the things that you hold regard to, you give it to him, lay it on the table and submit it completely to God. Once you do that, that is when God can start a work within you that will not only bless you, but that will also multiply your life. Once I started diligently seeking God, and obediently following his works, remaining free of sin. That is when I realized the trajectory of my life changed in the best way possible. I hope this message helps someone because I, as I always say, it was a good one. Talk to you guys soon.